Using the technical application, the master can manage onboard jobs. He selects onboard topics and then vessel jobs. He can either retrieve a report for all of the jobs for a vessel or he can enter specific criteria in order to narrow down his search. In this case, let's retrieve a report for all of the onboard jobs by pressing Retrieve. You will now see a list of all of the jobs relating to this particular vessel. In order to create a new job card, we leave this screen and go to Onboard Reports. Then we select Job Scheduling and then Jobs Planning Selection. Again, we can select all of the locations on the vessel in order to find the jobs we are interested in or we can fill in specific criteria in order to narrow down the locations. In our example, we will run a report for all locations. Here we are presented with all of the jobs that are overdue. These are the jobs for which we need to create new job cards. We select the jobs that need to be done by simply clicking on them. And then we select Prepare Report. We need to assign the job to a certain person. So in this pop-up window, we select the role and enter the person's name. And then we press OK. We can see that the job card has now been created and we press Save Job Card. Before it allows us to save, we must assign a unique job card number to it and then press OK. Now that we have created the job card, we can leave this window and update it. We go to Onboard Topics and then Job Cards Update. On the left of the screen, we select the jobs that are in progress. We fill in as much of the information in the criteria as is requested. The yellow fields are mandatory. Let's fill in some dates for our example. We now press Save. All that is left to do now is for the Chief Engineer to approve the jobs that we have created. He selects Approve. We are asked if we want to create job records. We select Yes in order to create a record to be sent to the office. The system informs us that the plan has been updated successfully.